Hello all. Let's install Debian 11. So Debian 11, you can grab the download, like you can grab the image from Debian's official website. So they have like different type of images. You have like live image, you have network installer, and the live image contains a calamaris. So this is one of those live images with the LXQT desktop. So if I open like if I search just Debian 11, you can see you can use this website to get Debian's current version. So yeah, just going to open up this one Debian 11 bullseye. So here you have the change log. You can see it ships with uh, the GNOME version 3.38, all these things. So if you are interested, you can read through that. And this is the part where you grab your live installation. So if you click that, you can download the live installation. So you have multiple choices. So you can use uh, like uh, one with uh, non-free firmware so there are like unofficial ports of uh, non-free firmware available so here you can grab that so if you're having something like uh, some device drivers that require proprietary firmware blobs you have to grab the unofficial ones or else you just grab this this is the DVD ISO if you are using torrents you can use this so if you click that based on your architecture you can see you have uh, multiple options to select your desktop so you have uh, cinnamon gnome kde so for my case i have chosen lxqt so we are going to close out of that besides these options if you go to the main debian home page you have an option to grab the network installer so if you click download it's going to give you access to the network installer so this one this link if you click that it's going to start download of the debian network installer so it's not going to have calamaris it's going to have the traditional debian installer so now that's done we can install debian by using this so if we double click this it's going to give you access to the calamaris installer so if you click next click your time zone then you can change your keyboard layout so for me it's english us and default is fine for this case we are just going to specify a manual partition because i already have something over here so if you want to do like automatic partition you can just uh, leave it as it is so for me this is like i have something so i'm just going to create something over here so the first one will be a 500 megabyte boot partition so that will be fat32 with mount point boot efi and flag will be boot the second partition will be fairly simple it's an ext4 with mount point root so slash so here you have options like if you want to encrypt your home you can do that so if you need to have separate home partition and all you can like uh, do modifications for that but i just use simple a boot and root partition not even specifying swap so here you specify your username and this is like the place where you name your pc you can specify your password you click next so this will give you like the layout and this will ask you to confirm like whether all your settings are correct and click install so this will begin the Debian installer so the thing is this is going to take some time so I'll be back when the download like uh, the installation process have been completed so this is the 
LXQT desktop of Debian 11. So let's open up a terminal. So if I do a df dash h, I can see like how much of the disk space is used by default. So it's using somewhere around 7.6 gigabytes of root space. So it's far from a minimal install, but you can see you're having like pretty much access to so many applications installed. So you have things like uh, Featherpad, you have things like uh, LX image for image viewer, you have Firefox, and you have things like LibreOffice, you have your audio control, you have a music player, video player, you have some system tools. And you have your preferences. This is like uh, LXQT. So here you have options for uh, this is LQ, LXQT settings. So settings manager. So this is like a control center for it. Here you can manage pretty much everything for your system. Then if I do a free like if I clean my screen and if I do a free dash H can see by default it's using just 475 megs of RAM for LXQT desktop. So LXQT is one of those uh, minimal desktop environments. Then if I do you name dash R I can see which kernel we are on. So we are on 5.10. So Debian is one of those uh, stable distributions. So they send uh, like uh, heavily patched versions of almost everything inside the repositories. Now let's check for updates. So do apt and you can do an update and sudo apt upgrade. So this is a one liner. You can get like pretty much it will tell you like it will sync the update repositories and it will ask you to update right away instead of you to search for something like upgradable. So we have some updates. So 103 megabytes. So I'm going to hit Y. So this is not going to take too much time. But meanwhile, we'll look at something else. So we have PCMan FM as our file manager for LXQT over here. Let's like uh, open up a new tab over here and let's check whether we have. Uh, something like app armor enabled so aa dash enabled yes so we can see by default we have app armor so our download process have been completed let's check whether we have some changes to the kernel no it's pretty much same so that's pretty much about the debian 11 lxqt flavor so I will leave a link in the description where you can grab the latest image. So not sure whether they have some other wallpapers. So they just have one wallpaper for this desktop flavor. And by default LXQT uses STDM for login manager. So if I lock, you can see this is STDM. So that's pretty much about Debian 11 for this one. I hope this one was helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day.